Welcome to the Appian Tech for Texas training video for uploading vendor sales reports and correcting errors. This tutorial is intended for vendors that have been awarded a contract with DIR that requires a submission of a monthly vendor sales report, or VSR, detailing sales conducted with eligible customers using their contract. This video will guide you through uploading a VSR in the VSR portal with or without sales, resolving errors, and understanding VSR statuses. To begin, log into the Tech for Texas platform, click on the waffle icon and navigate to the Vendor Sales Reporting Portal. In the left side menu, click on the Contracts link. The contracts listed will be those that your company has a contract with DIR and must submit a VSR for the current reporting period. Click on the contract number and review the contract summary page. Note the users that have been assigned to your contract and update the related users as needed. Navigate to the Sales Reports tab. If your contract does not have sales to report, also known as a zero sales report, simply click the Submit Zero Sales Report button on the Sales Report tab. Review the attestation that there are no sales to report for your contract during the reporting period and click the Submit Zero Sales Report button once complete. A confirmation screen will be displayed and your activity will be recorded in the history table with a VSR status of Submitted, Zero Sales. Please note that at any point during the Submit VSR process, do not use your browser's back button to navigate to the previous screen. Instead, click the Cancel button. If your contract has sales for the reporting period, review the VSR template guide video to create your VSR file. Click on Submit Vendor Sales Report, then click on the Upload button or drag and drop your file into the screen. If your VSR template contains errors, such as an incorrect template version, missing tabs, or modified tabs, an error screen will be displayed titled VSR Upload Failed. Download a fresh template as necessary to avoid this error screen. If your VSR file does not contain errors, a preview VSR screen will be displayed. Confirm that your VSR matches the expected total sales and number of rows on the VSR. If these values are not correct, click Cancel and review your file for potential blank rows or incorrect data. If the values are correct, Click Submit and a confirmation screen will be displayed and your activity will be recorded in the history table with a VSR status of Submitted, Accepted. If your VSR file contains errors, the VSR Errors UI screen will be displayed. Note that the total number of errors is displayed as well as a download link to an Excel sheet with each error listed. At any point, click Cancel to return to the Sales Report tab and resolve the errors directly in your VSR file. Note that the VSR status is rejected pending user corrections and is not an accepted file. You may also utilize the VSR Errors UI screen to review each error and provide the corrected value. Review each row with errors before clicking the Submit button to submit your VSR. Lastly, the Tech for Texas platform has a 15-minute system timeout. This means if your screen is idle past 15 minutes, the system will log out and will not save your progress. However, it will record any unfinished sales report activity. If your VSR file contains over 40 rows of data, the VSR submission screen will display a submission in progress screen. As the system is processing your file, once complete, an email will be sent either notifying you of an accepted file or a file with errors. If the file contains errors, you must download the errors in the VSR history table and resolve the errors directly in your VSR file. At any point throughout the reporting period of the first to the last date of the month, you may replace an accepted file or a zero sales report with another VSR file. If a previously accepted report for the reporting period is found, a confirmation screen will display that must be agreed to in order to begin the VSR submission. Note that any replaced files will have a VSR status of vendor withdrawn and the new file will have the appropriate VSR status. If a VSR was submitted after the due date, your VSR status will be recorded as submitted late. Late fees may be assessed depending on your history of late reports. Once the reporting period is complete and the month of sales is closed by DIR, any contracts that failed to report will have a status of not submitted late. Reports with sales will be updated to accepted, closed, and a PDF copy of the administrative fee notification will be emailed to users listed on the contract and downloadable on the VSR history table. Please be sure to view other training videos in this series on the DIR YouTube channel to learn more about the Appian Tech for Texas platform.
You can also contact DIR at tech4texas at dir.texas.gov with any questions. For contract-related questions or discrepancies on the data generated in your VSR template, contact your assigned DIR contract manager.